This video is going over a problem in the Building Java Programs book. We're using the Practice It website. And we're looking at chapter 8, which is about classes. And this self-check self number 18 is constructor point errors. So we're, we're um, taking a look at this constructor that's been provided to us, and it doesn't work. And this is because it's, it's a very common user error. So it takes this initial x and this initial y, and we need to set those values into this local, uh, this these class members x and y. And this doesn't work here. Why doesn't it work? It's actually not going to give you any compiler errors. This actually is perfectly legitimate. This creates a local variable x and a local variable y here. Okay, but that does not affect the class variables x and y. And um, the way to fix it is to just get rid of this int here. Okay. By getting rid of the int, it tells the compiler that we are not declaring a local variable. We're not declaring a new variable. Okay, We're just using the class members. Now, what I tell all my students is you should always do this.x and this.y. Why do I tell them to do that? I tell them because it forces you to realize that this x is not a local, but it's actually the class member variable. Uh, you know, I think actually this is a bad name. If I was designing language, I probably would have called it member. Okay, isn't that clear? Member. Okay, so it's a member.x and a member.y. But for whatever reason, it's called this. And um, so by by using the this dot, it's very clear as to what you're doing. Okay, there's no. Uh, it, it will give you a compiler error if you tried to do int this. In fact, here, let's just go ahead and try that. The error. See, the compiler. Oh, well, this is a very long message, but it didn't like that. Okay, so uh, that's why I instead get rid of that and do this. And let's talk again for a second. What is the? So I told you how to fix the problem, but really, what is the difference here between having the local and the class member variables? So the difference is that a local variable is created when you enter this function. Okay, and it goes away when you leave this function. Whereas the class variable is like the old-fashioned global variable, okay? It's 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 available outside the scope of this, but the scope is not everywhere every time, but it is only during the lifetime of the object that you create. So somewhere else, you've got to call point p equals new point of you know two comma three, okay? At that point, that's when this x and y gets created, and that's when these things are valid here. So it's a little bit of a small example to, to make a lot of sense. Uh, okay, constructor point cannot be applied to the given types. Interesting. Get rid of those. Oh, oh, the other problem is the void. <laughs> so a constructor is um the constructor you cannot have a return type in a constructor. The two ways you can tell and the compiler identifies that you're talking about a constructor is one, you've got the name of the function. Second is that um, is that you don't have a return type. Um, let's see, what does their error really mean? Constructor point in class, so it knows the point, cannot be applied to the given types. That's a really bad error message. But that's the problem here. Let's go ahead and get that working. All right. So I can do this.x and I can do this.y. Yes, that all works. So um, what have we learned here? Uh, this is an example about calling constructors. It points out a very common user error, two common user errors. One is that the user provided a type here. Constructors do not have a t return type. And second, that they created a local variable rather than referring to this.x and this.y. My solution is you just always need to use the this dot whenever you're referring to a member variable. It doesn't matter whether it's on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Another um, common error that people make, at least initially, is they actually try to return something, right? They, they think, okay, I've created something and um, now I'm going to try to return it. But there's actually nothing to return. It's why is there nothing to return? Because Java automatically creates the objects and returns it for you. And the, the this dot refers to that object. Okay. So again, it's, it's a little bit different. It's, it takes some getting used to, but that is what you need to do. So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. I have a complete curriculum for 
building Java programs, and I've got a lot of these practice it problems in there.